hi welcome back to my channel i missed you guys a lot because it's been freaking too long so i had a couple of videos in mind that i wanted to make and it's sunday and i just finished my first week back at school i'm all the way in front of house of my first restaurant at the culinary institute of america you guys i graduate in eight weeks yay eight weeks i'm so freaking excited i can't even contain my life to you i can't contain anything it's flying by and it's kind of scary i feel like it was just yesterday that i made the video where i was like oh i have nine months left of school let me make videos every three weeks because of this blah 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 and it's just freaking <laughs> insane i'm gonna give you guys a run around of wine because this was the hardest class that i've taken at the culinary institute of america even if you do start this institution at the cia like the first thing people are going to tell you is this is the hardest class that you'll ever take so i'm just going to give you guys a rundown of wines and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe give it a thumbs up wow it's been so long <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Let me just give you the rundown of wines and in a different video, I'm gonna explain the rest of my life and school and everything outside of wines. But this video is just gonna be dedicated specifically to wines. If you haven't already taken it, if you're going to the CIA, I highly recommend getting a head start on studying anything that has to do with wines, like knowing your pairings and everything like that because it is freaking a lot of information for three weeks, you know? Some people say that this class is equivalent to getting your Psalm 1. Basically what I'm just saying is study and you'll be fine. So, let's get started. Let me just start by saying this is the book. This honky tonk book. It's freaking huge and I read three chapters of the book, so that should tell you something. They're gonna require that you do a bunch of reading before the first day of class. I was literally crying when I was reading it because I was like, this is so dumb. Like, this information is not gonna stick in my soul like over overnight and just the fact that we had to read all this stuff, it was really upsetting. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the queen of complaining about this class. Like, I was very livid when I was taking this class. So yeah, they give you that big book. Make sure you buy it ahead of time. On the test, and I'm so sorry if this changes uh, like down the line because I don't know what the school is going to do, like if they're going to change it or anything. 100% when you're going through the class, start writing notes like ASAP in your book because you can use your book on the test. And people are like, oh my god, like that's so easy. No, like this book is very like heavy and there's just too much information on it but luckily you can write in the book and if you have a book cover on the outside you can use that book cover as well so it's not the end of the world you're not gonna die it's actually a lot it's not as bad as you think so but but my biggest advice is just start writing notes as soon as possible when you get in because me and my friend my girlfriend waited till the last night and we regretted that 1000% because like, or it was like the night before we actually took our final. So we were writing notes for legit like five hours straight, didn't leave her room. It was insanity. I'm lucky because I had it at night. So I got to go to the gym like early in the morning. So it didn't like mess up my schedule completely. Cause I totally remember thinking that I was not going to be able to like go to the gym or have a life or anything no you're fine just prioritize your life and you'll be fine like it's really not as bad as you think um the 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 class has a class tutoring session every day or every other day or something like that and i went to it a couple times but every time that i went it was very dumb because we would just play a trivia game it wasn't very productive and i felt like when me and my girlfriend were studying together, it was a lot more productive because we were in a room, we were just like focusing on what we needed to focus on and it was a lot better than sitting in a group of a bunch of people that, you know, were just goofing around. What I'm saying is definitely get a tutor, but do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. If you're not a good studier like me, I would recommend 100% go to the library, um, learning commons or whatever because tutoring is free and you might as well take advantage of it because if you retake this test, if you fail and you retake the test, I believe it's $4,500 just to retake the class and the test. So 
it's a lot of money and you're in there for three weeks you might as well just freaking put your heart and soul into it because it's gonna go faster than you think it's not even a full three weeks i think it's like 12 days or something so just use a tutor dive your soul into this class because you don't want to pay to retake it there was a couple people in my class that failed it twice and so you can fail it three times i think and then you're you're out like you're suspended just get your shit done like i'm not a smart person when it comes to book studying like i really am not i don't <clears throat> i don't try very hard with studying but <laughs> just being honest with you guys i don't try very hard when it comes to studying for things this class i actually studied a lot and i got a c plus so that should tell you something i studied every night for hours and I was sitting with my friends, like, staring. We literally hung up stuff all over the wall, like, trying to just memorize it, memorize it, memorize it. Because honestly, you're not going to remember half of the stuff that you absorbed within the class once you get out. Because I can't really remember half the stuff that I learned, but you just need to let it stick for three weeks. That's just my complete honest advice. The way that they section it off is, so the first week is new world and vinny culture and vinny culture which is just explains making wine how it's made like soils all of the fancy stuff about wine that you probably would never even think about learning and so it's broken up like that and then the second so you have your first test on the new world i got it like a 17 out of 25 which is not horrible but you have to remind yourself that this class the reason why people fail is because this class is based on three tests your new world test your old world test and then your final and so you have to really be careful about what you're getting on these tests because if you bomb two you can almost barely make it up on the third one in the new world i mean the old world you have to like change the language completely so everything you learn just now in the new world of like all the wines you have to convert it to a different language and some people say the old world is easier but i think it was a lot harder because it was you know a different language and you know i don't really understand all these freaking italian wines like it was it was tough i'm not gonna lie my favorite part of the class obviously was the tastings every day so we got to taste 10 wines every day i was kind of nervous because I thought, you know, I was going to get shwasted every day, but they make you spit out your wine, so don't drink it. <laughs> Everybody drinks it. Um, obviously. So just be careful about how much you're consuming if you are going to sip your wine. It's, it's amazing though. Like this class, money-wise, because every class is so freaking expensive, this class is the one that has been the most worth it money-wise because so expensive to take classes here and you're actually like learning. You know, this was the first class that I feel like I was freaking learning everything that I could learn and it was like you're you're getting like a decent amount of wine. They're pretty expensive wines, so it's just a nice variety. Like you would never try these wines probably in your life. Like all these Italian wines, all these wines from France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Argentina, New Zealand, Australia, California. There's just so many different types of wines and you really do get in touch with your senses, which is a beautiful thing. You know, he will be like, asking you what do you smell or what do you taste or like what do you see and you're just using your senses to a whole different level that you could have ever you you probably would have never tried like every time i've been wine tasting i've i would have been like okay i smell apple or grape or i don't freaking know like i was even when you're in class and they're like okay smell it everybody's smelling it and it's just all bullshit like it, you might smell something that nobody else smells i know when i was in there everybody was like mm, yo i smell this i smell that but i definitely never sometimes i would be like yeah i don't understand like how you're smelling any of that stuff but it's to each their own you know what i mean it opened my brain to new possibilities in wine and food you know, I learned so much about eating wine, I mean, eating food with certain wines, like it really changed my perspective on it. And I'm not just drinking, cause I'm a white wine girl, I'm not gonna lie. Like I drink Sauvignon Blanc, like it's my freaking religion. It always 
comes down to what I'm eating now. If I'm not eating anything, obviously it's gonna change, but it just all comes, it's so different to me now. I smell it differently, I taste it differently. I The feeling on my tongue, which is the tannins, like around your gums, you just, you feel like kind of like a wine snob by the end of it, but then you forget all of it so you don't really know shit. Every day we would do these tastings and we would write down the wine and then, so we would write color, it would be categorized with your color, the nose, and like the colors aren't just red and white, like it's like light straw or dark cherry red or something, you know, it's very specific and very elegant, like wine is very sophisticated, so that's like the coolest part is learning what types of foods go with what wine. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you exactly what was in each thing because it's honestly very dry, boring, like just information spitting into your brain class. So I don't want to sit here and bore you with everything that was provided for us in the class because obviously if you're gonna take the class, you're gonna learn. I just wanted to give you guys a run around of exactly how it's broken down because when I was walking in, I had no idea what to expect. I just want you guys to know that definitely by the book, but don't dwell on reading the book because we had assigned readings every night but you get so much information from the powerpoints depending on like what teacher you have so it's not like it's that big of a deal like i don't want you to stress out over that type of stuff make sure you're spending enough time sleeping like don't spend you know don't spend 80 hours like studying for this class and not sleep at all because that's just a waste of your time and you're just not gonna like form a healthy balance with studying your brain's not gonna work and you're gonna freak out you know that that's what happened to my friends like i had a lot of friends like crying and freaking out because they didn't balance out their lives very well with it i was writing down excessive amounts of information but if i could recommend anything to you bring your laptop to class and just take notes on your laptop because your hands will get exhausted if you're writing in the notes like before you go into class the next day study the information that you're gonna be studying that day and like just always be ahead of just always be a day ahead of it and make sure you write notes in your book as you go along and make sure you organize it as well as you can because you don't want to be like you know flipping through your book the day of the final and then you're all stressed out because you can't find anything i did that and i couldn't find um a certain area that i didn't like write down so i was like super stressed i was like fuck you know but it's all good in the neighborhood <laughs> just make sure that you guys allow your allow yourself enough time to study go in with a bang don't give up because I wanted to give up so many times and just quit and drop out because <laughs> this class was very stressful. But just don't give up, keep going. If you guys have any questions about this class at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I would love to answer any questions that you might have, but I didn't want to just make a 30 year long video about all the information about wine because when you get there, you'll get there and you'll understand what exactly you know what exactly you're getting yourself into but i hope this helped you guys out a little bit because i walked in blind to this class and i was like crying the night before so i hope this was helpful to you guys and thank you for watching and i'm back on youtube so sorry i'm eight weeks away from graduation so any videos um about the cia you guys want me to make you better tell me now because it, time is ticking and things are getting busier and i really I really want to help you guys as much as possible in if you do decide to come to the school in your journey or making that decision. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!